Good morning everyone. Welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. I got a really interesting product today and I wanted to show you. Um, I'm not going to start it up because it's for the prepping area but really great for bushcrafters as well especially people by the ocean. So I'm going to show you this great product. Here we go. This is the salt water lantern. It looks like this. <clears throat> All right, it, um, the energy is produced by aluminum um, plates and salt water acting together and it's a lantern, uh, but it also has a USB charger. So take a look at this. So these are the aluminum plates. So basically aluminum with a little uh, connector and it pops in and I'll show you exactly how that works. I got of course a huge amount of aluminum um, plates okay so I got it comes with two sets I got one in there already and another one and I bought four extra so just so you guys know so here's the lantern I'll give you a 360 and here's the top where you can change the brightness the power and the reset, it gets a, is an alarm after three and a half hours, so you can change the salt water. Nothing on the bottom. So you pop open, pop open these things and lift it up. And these are the aluminum plates and they just pop in, just like that. So nothing special about that, they just pop in. And you fill this up with uh, salt water up to that red line right there. And it's one of these, this comes with it, one of these in each of these things. Or you can use seawater. You don't have to make your own salt water, you can use seawater. And in an emergency, you can actually urinate in this and it'll give you power, believe it or not. So, basically the salt water goes in there and then you close it up. These are the, the, um, the connections um, and you just make sure these are lined up, just like so and close it up. Now, if you're using um, salt water uh, that you're making, you gotta make sure the, the salt is dissolved. So you shake it up or you make the salt water previously and then pour it in or whatever the case may be. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, so that's great, but what if you, what if you run out of these aluminum plates? Okay, so this is my thought. What if I have a large roll of aluminum foil from Costco, that really thick stuff, right? And as these dissolve, they're basically thinner and thinner and thinner until you eventually have to replace them. So once they get a little bit thin, what about wrapping these with aluminum foil, which is 100% aluminum, just like this. Make sure the wrap is extremely tight and keep using these indefinitely. One of those, one of those um, things of uh, tin foil at Costco, I mean, they're literally like this thick and like from you to my hand away, like probably two or three years worth of aluminum for a product like this. You get three or four of those, you got all the aluminum you could possibly use. And of course, here on Vancouver Island, all the salt water we could possibly use as well. So quite technically, this is a permanent um, power source. If the grid goes down, you never ever are out of light. Or you'll notice right here, there's a USB port and I can charge any electronic I want. And not only can I charge the electronics, but I can also charge any um, rechargeable batteries. So my AA batteries, all my rechargeable batteries, uh, I'm gonna be doing a video on rechargeable batteries in a little bit, but um, you can recharge all your batteries. So now you have enough power for anything that takes a battery and um, you never run out of power. So I thought this was a really good option. Um, to have as a prepper. Um, I might give it a shot, because I want to try it probably at least once. I'm not sure if I'm going to, because uh, I don't want the salt water to be on there, because it starts to, you know, salt water will dissolve stuff, right? So I don't want to sort of start using it and then store it. It's kind of better to have it so if you've never used it. I'm kind of taking a chance that it doesn't work, but I don't think that that's a problem. I might grab another one, and then I, one of them I can use, and the other one I can, I can store. But I wanted to show you guys this because as a bushcrafter, I mean, they're a little bit big. I get that. Like to put in your backpack, I don't know. You probably could. I mean, 
my backpack is extremely small, but most people have pretty large backpacks. So if they use the packing ideas that I have, they might have a little extra room. You guys may have a little extra room to put in something like this because it's not huge. I mean, this is my hand. It's not massive, um, but then you get unlimited power when you're, um, when you're out in the bush, um, especially if you just bring um, uh, a Ziploc bag um, of salt. I mean, yeah, a Ziploc bag of salt would be enough salt to last, I don't know, a month <laughs> of, um, of, of electricity. So something, something that, uh, to think about to get one of these. Anyway. Just thought I'd show you guys this quick video uh, of my new lantern. Very stoked about getting this. Um, and uh, if you guys are interested, let me know and I'll put the link down. Or maybe I'll just put the link down and show you uh, where I got it. So have a good day. Take care. Thanks for subbing. Like and share. And I'll talk to you later.